This is Tari's Fig Wars, released in February 2023, based on a character of the old 1990 Dragon Ball Z movie. Let's start! He has four face plates, no left ears. He must wear the scouter at all times. Standard expression variants. He has four pairs of hands plus one special hand. Sculpts are great, paint job is acceptably tidy. Matte finished. He also has a crossed arms. Rubbery. Paint job is okay-ish. Borders are rough. Matte finished. A special key effect. Also included are two types of pack for attaching the key to the hands. Last, his unique cape. Made of rubber, solid light gray, no shadings, matte finished. Face sculpt is sharp. Fantastic. Likeness is crazy good. Tan skin tone, no shadings, matte finished. Paint job is great. No gaps on the faces. The gritting face looks like he's biting his lips though. It's sad that you only have one scouter to move around. If he's supposed to wear scouter at all times, it's more convenient to have the scouter sculpted on all faces. That way, changing faces poses no risk of breaking the scouter since the scouter is quite fragile to handle. Hair sculpt is sharp, with inner lines similar to Goku SS4. No knob marks or seam lines. Smooth black, no highlights, matte finished. He is ripped, just like his Saiyan comrades. I don't think this is accurate, but I love how they buff all armored characters. This is where Dragon Ball Z character design differs to Dragon Ball Super. Paint job tidiness is typical fig warts. Some spills and nub marks here and there on the borders and linings. Not very really concerning though. This is a fake watch after all, so don't expect Figma or Buzzmod quality here. I seem to remember Taris' skin tone being pale grayish. No matter, he looks awesome this way. Pay attention to the biceps joints. They're really tight on mine. I'd suggest hot water dip before swapping the arms. The crossed arms joint is rubbery unlikely to break. You can even pull out and put back the pegs. But the normal arms joints need more attention. These are the parts which oftenly break if you use a bit of force. Color separation is well handled overall despite minor pain spills. Matte finish is smooth, no shading supplied. The cape is uniquely sculpted, fits him nicely. Paint job is great, even and smooth matte finished, no issue. The effect is nicely crafted and beautifully painted. Metallic gold wheel and translucent silver lightning. You can attach the effect in two ways with the provided connectors. Goku's head is smaller than Tari's. Goku's hair sculpt looks pale in comparison to Tari's. He desperately needs an update. It's an old sculpt from 2016 after all. The Ultra Instinct Sign sculpt looks just a bit better though. Tari's head joint is bigger than Goku. Heads are not swappable. Not surprisingly, Goku gets slimmer in Dragon Ball Super. Tari's body reminds me of Goku Kaioken x 4 when he first fought Vegeta. Let's compare with his comrades. Jeez, these Saiyans are ripped. It's a good thing that Bandai makes all Saiyans look strong and menacing. Tari's body is based on Raditz's body, downscale. Arms and leg sculpts look similar. With a buffed up body, Taris weighs 20% more than Goku Figuarts.
Head and neck have great range. Looking up is decent. Joints quality is solid. No squeaky or ratchety sounds. No overtight joints. They feel like go on superheroes, not gamas. New shoulder armor design, not really my favorite. Can't go up because it bumps the chest armor on its side and butterfly joints under it. Arms go sideways 90 degrees. I prefer his look without shoulder armor. Let's take them off. They can easily be detached, just pull gently outward. Joints are similar to Broly Super's armor. Broly Super joint is attached vertically, while Tari's is horizontally. Thus results in different moving direction. Waist armor is hinged, just like Raditz. Butterfly joints are fantastic. It's the same design as Gohan Super Heroes. Arms range is excellent without shoulder armor. Putting back in is also easy. Just get the arms out of the way, then push them in gently. I feel the joints are pretty solid. Worst thing, they would pop off out of the socket. Biceps twist is stiff. I used oil to lubricate it. Elbow is double jointed. Range is over 90 degrees. Wrist is standard wrist jointed. Torso on ball joint. Range is acceptable. Waist rotates only about 90 degrees. No articulation on tail. Thigh range is good. 90 degrees forward. Limited backward. Excellent sideways. Legs twist 90 degrees. Knee range is great. Ankle range is limited. Toes are hinged. Tari's is an awesome Figwarts. He's got solid build quality, plenty accessories, and fun to play with. For $70, he's nicely priced. Sadly, he's a minor non-canon character, which might not appeal to new fans. As a figure, he's highly recommended as he's compatible with many other Figwarts, which makes for plenty display options. If you like the character, don't wait too long to collect him. He's a limited premium Bandai release, so he won't be around for long. That's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.